Hello, 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 my amazing friends at the Bronx Community College Early Childhood Center. How are you guys today? Wow, look, I have a different background. Look at my plant. Whoa. <laughs> so, my friends, it is so good to see you. I hope you're happy. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're safe. Now, as you remember, in our last classes last month we talked all about where light comes from well now we're going to start a new journey and we are going to talk about wait <laughs> trying to make a dripping sound does that give you any hints <gasps> did somebody say <gasps> water yeah we're gonna talk about water. Water, water. Let me ask you a question. Where does water come from? Or where do we find water, I should say? Where can you find water around you? Start saying stuff. Where can you find water? Did somebody say in the kitchen? Yeah, like the kitchen sink. That's right, very good. <gasps> yep, a bathtub. Very good. Where else? The kitchen sink. Very, very good. Yes, 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 yes. Where else? Oh, yeah. Like, um, outside, like, when you have, like, the little thing, there's, like, little places where you can turn on the water. What's that called? Oh, a fire hydrant. Very good. What else? Ooh, yeah. The toilet. Definitely. My dog used to drink out of the toilet. Yuck. Ooh. Where else? Where, where outside can you find water? Yes, in the ocean or rivers or lakes or ponds. You guys are awesome. Oh, you know what? What? What's that? What's it called when water comes from the sky? Rain. That's right. You guys are so smart. Oh, somebody just said snow. That's right. Snow and sleet. Wow, you guys are so good. You're like a fountain of knowledge. <laughs> The water fountain. Water fountains. If you ever, you know, you probably haven't even used one of those yet because they're so high up. Yeah, and you're so short, but that's okay. One day you'll be able to drink out of a water fountain. Awesome. Now, my friends, I have this beautiful book here. It's called Water Rolls, Water Rises, and it's by Pat Mora with Milla Illustrations with illustrations by Melo Sol. And it's a beautiful book, and I want to read it to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Water rolls, water rises. Water rolls, water rises. Water rolls onto the shore, under the sun, under the moon. Water rises into soft fog, weaves down the street, strokes an old cat. <coughs> Blown by the wind, water sails high, tumbling cloud plumes curl through the air. <coughs> Slow into rivers, Water slithers and snakes through silent canyons at twilight and dawn. Down smooth canals, water streams, water slides, gliding up roots of tulips and corn. Filling deep wells, water hums in the dark, sloshes in buckets quenches our thirsts. Swirling in wisps, water twists, then it twirls, 
Frosts scatter dry leaves, rubs lonely bare trees. In storms, water plunges in thunder's brash roar, races through branches from lightning's white flash. Then water rests, drowsy in reservoirs. Its glistening silence shimmers like stars. Ding, ding. In the murmur of marsh wind, water slumbers on moss, whispers sock songs far under the frog feet. Brabbit, brabbit, brabbit. Water burbles in springs, gurgles and turns down streams and rivers seeking the sea. Sliding and slipping, swooping round bends, spinning on tree roots, careening down cliffs. Looping and leaping, rushing to dive into glimmering sea waves, spangle and splash. Pooch. That's my dolphin sound. Around our round world, water rolls, water rises under gold sun, under white moon. The end. Very good, you guys. You guys are awesome. I'm glad you listened to that story. It's such a good, beautiful, wonderful book. <laughs> All right, today we're going to do something really interesting. It's kind of like a puppet, and it's kind of like something you can put in your window and look at. You can use it as a puppet, or you can put it in your window. Or you could do both. Check it out. It's a little sun catcher water drop. Are you ready? Whoop, you missed it. Ready? Watch this. There it was. Watch. <laughs> it's a little sun catcher and it's made out of like super easy things. It's actually just a paper towel that I have. And sometimes if you if you look, actually not even sometimes, but even on the back, what's cool is if you use a marker, the marker comes through and then you can hang it in your window. And I'll show you this in just a couple minutes. The sun can come in and it'll illuminate it and make it bright and really pretty. But see, it's the, it's a water, it's a water droplet. I'll do a little puppetry, ready? Here it comes. There's a drip, there's a drip above me, ready? Here comes the water. <gasps> It's hanging there, it's hanging, it's hanging. Can you see it hanging? Oh! <laughs> awesome! Meet me on the puppet making station and we'll make one of these cool water droplet sun catchers. Here we go! Okay, my friends, this is what you need to make your water drop sun catcher. You need a glue stick or tape. But I think a glue stick will work, but if you have tape, that'll work too. I'm gonna put that right there. You need a paper towel. What? Just a good old paper towel. It's good if it's blank, if there's no like pattern or like, you know, you can have patterns, but no, um, no already existing marks on it, like flowers, scissors. And then I have a bunch of different, I have four different shades of blue because I want to make my water drop really, I don't know, interesting in different shades of blue. So here's how I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with my lightest color, my lightest shade. And I'm going to take the cap off and I'm gonna draw the shape of a water droplet. So what shape is a water droplet? Interesting. Let's look over here at this one. Yeah, it's kind of like a ball. So you can start off by drawing half or almost half or a little bit more than half even of a ball. Like that. Look, look what I just did. La la la. And then what's on the top? It's like a little, little hat. Yeah, it's like a little triangle. So come up here 
and you can make it like a little, I like to center it, like put it off center a little bit, but there you go. I just drew a water droplet, and now you just have to color it in. Here we go, let's color. You can use all different colors, all different shades, I should say, of your blue. Let's color it in. Now that you have your water droplet colored, it's time to cut out your water droplet. Now that you have it cut out, it's time to put your string on it so you can hang it in your window. All right, so I'm gonna flip mine over. I'm gonna take my glue stick. And remember, you can use tape as well. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right here, just a tiny bit. And then, once I have a little bit of glue there, I'm just gonna take my string, and I'm gonna glue my string to the back of my water drop. Like that. Ta-da! And there we go. We have water drops. Awesome, let's go hang them up. Check it out, you guys. I hung my water drop in my window and you can see the sun is trying to come through and when it does, it gets really bright. It's just on the bottom part. Isn't that cool? Look, that's in my window in my kitchen. Awesome! You guys can do that too. All right, my friends, it was so great to see you this week. You guys are amazing. I'll see you next time. Until then, stay happy, stay healthy, Stay safe. Mm -hmm.